Can I begin? Oh, sure. Is it, are you recording? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hello. Uh, I'm pretty. I'm now talking about my research about the one bit ADC. So today I'll talk about limited feedback in single and uh, multiple antenna system with one bit quantization. So this is joint work of mine and uh, my prof my advisor Robert Hughes. So first, I will talk about the motiv motivation of our research. So why should we use one bit ADC instead of the conventional high resolution ADC? The reason is the hardware constraint at broadband MIMO re receiver. So consider this kind of broadband uh, MIMO receiver. You first uh, from the signal first goes through the antenna and goes through the no no uh, LNA, uh, LNA, then off chain, then ADC, then broadband processing. If you use the large bandwidth, like in the millimeter wave, the bandwidth could be as large as one gigahertz or several gigahertz. So you need a very high <coughs> sampling rate, like one giga sample per second. And this high speed, high resolution ADC will cost a lot of power. And also it's very hard to pr produce this kind of thing. So it's like a cost, it's very cost, uh, it's, it's costly. And, um, also, in the meantime, we will have large, large number of antennas, like uh, several tens or even uh, several hundreds of antennas. So, need, so you need a lot of ADC in your receiver. Uh, if you consider this kind of large, uh, large number of ADCs, the power will increase the power and the hardware cost will, will, will be a huge problem. So this, this some figure uh, this figure shows the ADC power consumption bottleneck. I got this some data from website, and uh, the X it shows the sampling rate. It's from the uh, 10 megahertz to uh, 10 gigahertz, and the the the, the sampling rate, uh, the resolution the resolution is from 8 bits to 16 bits, and the effect number of bits is from 7 to 12. And the y sh the y axis shows the power consumption in milli milliwatt. So in this figure, you can sh you can see that at this one gigahertz here, the power consumption is about two thousand milliwatts, about two watt. And you see, if you think about your cell phone, if your ADC consumes two watt power, you cannot hold this your phone in your hand because it's too hot. So this is some figure from the uh, real products, the real and the next figure shows the result, the, the state of art research result on this ADC. Mm, the figure is gone. This figure is produced by Professor uh, Merman from uh, Stanford University. He collected this data from the two conference. It's the two conference about ADC design, and uh, he plotted this. It, so each figure, oh, sorry. Each figure on this, each each point on this figure shows the shows one one result. Uh, the X is showing the negative sampling rate, and the Y is showing the uh, it's a figure of it's a figure of merit. So the, the this F O M W is defined as a power over the two to the power of effect number of bits and uh, sampling rate. So you see that at here, um, like 100 megahertz your energy efficiency will decrease. I mean, the power will increase, so the energy efficiency decreased. So, so that means that at, so that means that this energy efficiency drops fast when something really larger than 100 megahertz. So that's the reason, that's, that's the reason why we use one bit ADCs. So for one bit ADC, you only need one comparator, so it's very simple to produce and uh, and we and we can simplify its hardware design, like the uh, like the AGC automatic gain control. We do not need auto automatic gain, gain control now. So there are some prior work on low resolution ADCs, like uh, first like um, capacity analysis, like Professor Nosak, and uh, they have a lot of work on this area, and also channel estimation detection, and also energy efficiency. So in this work, we will consider about the limited feedback. Um, because, uh, so there are some, some work about the channel estimation, like uh, 
some work about for by Professor Nosak and also some work by our group. We can estimate this channel with one billion ACs, and uh, and then how to feedback this chan this channel in channel state information to the transmitter. That's a problem, uh, and uh, and we know that if the transmitter has the channel state information, he can use like um, advanced uh, some channel uh, pre-coding or some beamforming algorithm or beamforming technical to to improve the performance. And we know that there are only small loss at moderate SNR when CSI is used at the transmitter. So in this work, we will design a limited feedback scheme for CISO and MISO channel. And we, and I will, we will evaluate the power and the capacity loss incurred by, incurred by this in limited feedback. So this shows, the, uh, shows our system model. We consider this kind of CISO or MISO channel and you have this uh, one antenna, single antenna receiver, you have this app chain and a pair of ADC to quantize the real and the imagined part of your receive, receive signal. And then you go to the digital baseband processing. Here you estimate channel and then you, you feedback some bit about according your uh, estimated channel to the transmitter. So we first consider the size of channel uh, so th only there are only one single antenna at the transmitter. So that's the that's the mathematical equations for this channel for this system. So H is channel X is your transmit signal. At noise is the N. So S A N is the sine function. It's basically output the sign of the real and the imaginary part. So we know that the capacity with perfect CSI T is this one. This one can be found in my work and also. Uh, Madahol, Professor Madahol's paper. So here uh, Q is the tail probability of the uh, norm, the standard norm distribution. HB is the, it is defined as here is the binary entropy function. So we know that the capacity with this perfect CSI T is achieved by transmitting rotated QPSK symbols. So basically you transmit the, like the here, like square, Okay, sorry. You transmit the square symbols, square symbols uh, in this figure, and after the channel, because the channel has some phase shifters, at the receiver side, you will get this uh, circle ones, circle constellation. And this circle ones is like uh, some like perfect, uh, perfect QPSK con 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 constellation. And the red figure shows the capacity. We see that here, like at low SNR, compared to the channel without quantization, the capacity with one bit quantization only incur a small bit, a small capacity loss here. <coughs> so in this paper, we will uh, we will consider the limb feedback scheme. So for this one bit ADC, uh, for the set channel, we only have to. Uh, um, feedback the phase, I mean the, the angle of the H here, the angle of H. And also we know that this, the QPSK constellation, which achieved the capacity is, is a 90 degree rotation invariant. So we only have to, we do not have to feedback the angle of H. We only have, the only thing we have to feedback is the modulus of the angle of H over uh, two, over two, pi, two over pi. So, for so therefore, for code, code book design, we quantize the region from zero to uh, two, two over pi, and we use the simple uni uniform quantization. This is like a very reasonable because the channel phase is like we assume the channel phase is uniform distributed. <coughs> so we here we derive the capacity with limit feedback. So it shows us here is two minus HB something here, and we if we evaluate this uh, this equation, we see that this term is two term one minus two sine two theta and one plus sine two theta is due to the phase error, and uh, we can prove that uh, the average power loss is at most three dB when the only feedback one bit, uh, yeah one bit. So this figure shows the simulation result. X is showing the transmit power, and Y is the, your capacity. 
So you see that this perfect, perfect CSIT is this uh, solid curve, and uh, we have plot for three, d three other cases, b equal to two, b equal to one, and uh, no CSIT. So you see that for, for if b equal to two, there is, you can, you know, there, there is like a very small, or you even cannot visible, even cannot difference, uh, differ the, the two curves. Um, B equal to two and uh, the curve perfect CSIT. So, uh, so that means that you only have to equal uh, feedback a small number, uh, a, a few bits. And uh, we find that only for one, even for one bit, there are only like uh, maybe one dB, one dB loss. So our conclusion is that for quantized set channel, one bit ADC, one uh, feedback, one bit information is enough. So that's my first part of my talk. The second part is about quantized massive channel. So now assume we have a transmitter with NT antennas and it goes through this channel H, which is the vector. And then uh, you have this Y and uh, your quantization output is R. And we know that this perfect, the channel, the, this massive channel with perfect CST is, here, is this one. And this is derived by our previous work. And also, uh, the, this capacity is achieved by MRT beam forming and uh, QPSK signaling. Now we want to in, you, uh, design a low uh, feedback scheme. We have to feedback the, the edge, this here. So, so in this, in our design, we actually designed two code book. So first code book is this one. We designed uh, denoted as W. We have uh, a lot of uh, like this kind of elements, and this like uh, from zero to two or two order power two, two to the power of b one minus one. And we we, f we first choose one choose one of from this uh, set which has the largest norm of this h times h times v so we maximize basically we we try to find the 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 a vector which is close to this h and second we have to quantize we quantize the residue phase which is this one the angle of h times v so this v is the the v chosen from the first code book and uh, in this code book too, we, use, we also use a uniform code book over the region two to the power, uh, two, uh, from zero to two over pi. So at the end, at last, we send back this B1 and then B1 plus B2 bits to the transmitter. So as transmitter, he will use this H, uh, use this V as the, the beamform vector, and also he will shift, shift, shift the, the uh, the QPSK quantization by this phase, this phi here. And we derive the capacity with limited feedback. So we have this equation, and there are two terms. One is this cosine beta, which is due to the, the direction, the channel direction arrow. And the second one, uh, one minus sine theta and one plus sine theta, this is also similar to the set of case. It's is the phase error. So next, we will evaluate our performance loss by limit feedback. We will, we will use two performance metrics. One is the power loss, the other one is the capacity loss. So first one is the power loss, and we assume we use the random vector quantization, which, which is easy to analyze, which is easier, easy for analysis. So the power loss is that here we average this term over uh, W and uh, the theta. So here, so basically this result E over W, here this result can be found in, in, class, in Gino's paper. And the second one can be evaluated very, uh, can be evaluated like this one, we derived this by our, in our paper. So we see that if the B1 is equal to NT minus one, B2 equals one, the power loss is at the most 6 dB. The other one is capacity loss. And we find that if 
uh, if we want to ensure the capacity loss is less than uh, delta, delta, we should have this um, equations. So, so the left 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 hand side is uh, the function of b1 and b2. If we evaluate b f b1, uh, the function of b1 and b2 here, so we see that this function uh, increased with the b1 and b2. So here is the increase. Uh, it is the increased function of b1 and b2. And uh, so, and the right term, the right hand side is dirt over PT and T. So PT and T is like the received, the, rec uh, the, uh, the, is the, is power. The PT is the power. So we see that if the power increase, basically the right hand side decrease. So this means that you have a loose constraint, loose or loose requirement on the B1 and B2. So that means that if your power increase, actually you only need small, smaller number of feedback base and that is uh, is is in striking contrast to Jindal's results with which with the in, in classical results which says that the, your feedback base should feedback base should increase with the uh, power with the transmit power okay next 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 I will show the simulation results so the, right, the left figure shows when nt equals to 4. And we see that we, I, I show three different feedback bits, like um, b1 equal to 3, b2 equal to 1, b1 equal to 2, b2 equal to 2, b1 equal to 1, b2 equal to 3. So in this, for these three different uh, bits combinations, we find that uh, the best one is, to, is b1 equal to 3 and b2 equal to 1. That means that you, you, feed more, you use three bits for to quantize your channel direction and only one bit to quantize the residue phase, the phase. And in the rest, in the, right, uh, the, in the right figure, it's the similar result. Here we have 16 transmitter antennas and we consider three different bit combinations and we also find the best one is, equal, is B1 equal to 15 and B2 equal to one. So in practice we can it's suitable to set B1 equal to NT minus 1 and B2 equals to 1. Uh, so le next result is about the capacity loss. It's the uh, capacity, is the capacity, capacity loss. And uh, we consider, first we see that as the base increase, like from 1, B1 equal to 1, B1 equal to 2, B1 equal to 1, to B1 equal to 4 and B1, B2 equal to 2. So here goes goes through this way. As the base increase, or your power loss decrease. And also we find that your power loss here, like, is not a, a monotonic function of power. So at low S9, because your capacity is very low, so your power loss, your capacity loss is also very low. At high S9, your, your capacity actually saturates. So that's so in that region also, your capacity loss is, is small. So that's our conclusion. We develop a limb feedback algorithm in quantized CISO and the MISO channel. In the CISO channel, we only need one bit feedback. And in the MISO channel, we, we have to use two, use, we use two code books, one for the channel direction and one for the phase. And we find that we should use more bit for the direction and only one bit for the phase. So there are some potential future work. One is extend to quantize MIMO channel. That's, that's, uh, so that, that means you have multiple receive antennas. And the other one is, and the, one, the other one is extend to a multi-user channel. So in that case, we consider a like broadcast, broadcast channel. Each user has only single antennas and use one bit ADC. Okay, that's it. You can contact me by this my this my email and uh, if you have any question, you could email me. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Hello, I'm done. Yes. Okay, I stopped. Okay, thank you. <laughs>